Ceremony will begin in two minutes. ご来場の皆様、あと2分で交代式を開始いたしますので、ご着席くださいますようお願い申し上げます。Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. On behalf of the Commanding General, Lieutenant General Smith, welcome to the Three Marine Expeditionary Force and Marine Forces Japan Change of Command Ceremony, in which Lieutenant General Eric M. Smith will rel relinquish command to G Lieutenant General Stacy Clarity. Today's parade is being executed by the officers and Marines of Three Marine Expeditionary Force and Marine Forces Japan. ダイサン海兵遠征軍司令官スミス中将に代わりまして心より感謝申し上げますこの度エリックスミス中将からステイシークラディ中将へ指揮権が移譲されますまた本日のパレードはダイサン海兵遠征軍在日米海兵隊の
これより第3海兵遠征軍付き従軍牧師ジェームズ・エドワーズ米海軍大佐による祈りを捧げますので皆様ご起立ください Let us pray Almighty God as we gather this evening to recognize the change in leadership of three marine expeditionary force we pause to honor the direction and guidance that General Smith has given us during his all too short tenure as commanding general. He made life better on Okinawa for his Marines, sailors, and their families. General Smith has impressed all those he commanded with his Texan common sense approach, his keen warfighting ability, and most of all his humor, which made the most boring of meetings almost enjoyable. General Smith had a huge impact on those who, who were blessed to serve on his staff or as a subordinate commander. He brought out the best in us, and we are better Marines and sailors for having served under him. As General and Mrs. Smith travel back to the U.S., bless them and keep them, and may they know that they go with our appreciation for the positive impact they had on 3MEF. Lord, as General Clarity assumes the mantle of command, we ask that you grant him and Mrs. Clarity a smooth transition back to Okinawa. Under General Clarity's leadership, continue to bless the Marines and sailors of 3MEF. Place your hand upon him now and guide his steps. This we pray in your holy name. Amen. Ladies and gentlemen, please be seated. Dozo, go to the seat, please. Present day parades in the Marine Corps have their basis in both history and tradition. The mass formation of troops on one long line at close interval made possible the massing of firepower from the muzzle loaded muskets of yesterday. In those early days, the line of battle was just that, a line of two or three rings, and looked much like the formation you will see today. The adjutant forms the line for battle. Ladies and gentlemen, the next portion of the parade will be the presentation of the colors and the playing of the Japanese and American national anthems. Will the guests please rise?
Ladies and gentlemen, please be seated. どうぞご着席ください。Sound off signals the band to parade forward of the assembled Marines while playing military marching music. This feature is believed to have its roots in the Crusades. Prior to their embarkation, volunteer troops were formed on the right between the band and the other troops. As in honor to the volunteers, the band would strike three chords of the present day sound off while the other troops cheered three times. To further honor the volunteers, the band marched up and down the line while playing. The square formation used by the band with its wheel turns and counter marches dates back to 300 BC when Alexander's Macedonian spearmen conquered all their enemies from ancient Greece to India.
the parade adjutant now presents the assembled command to the commander of troops. At the command, officers center. All officers march to the front and center of the formation and salute the commander of troops. Historically, it was at this point that the commanding officer would issue orders and instructions to the unit commanders. It would also afford the commander an opportunity to provide last minute encouragement prior to battle. Now taking his place in the reviewing area is Lieutenant General Louis A. Crapoada, Commanding General, Marine Forces Pacific. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, please rise for honors to Lieutenant General Louis A. Crapoada, Commanding General, Marine Forces Pacific. これより太平洋海兵隊司令官ルイス・クラパワット中将に対し栄養令を行います。皆様ご起立ください。
Now taking his place in the reviewing area is the Commanding General, 3 Marine Expeditionary Force, and Commander, Marine Forces Japan, Lieutenant General Eric M. Smith. Ladies and gentlemen, honors will now be played for the Commanding General, 3 Marine Expeditionary Force, and Commander, Marine Forces Japan, Lieutenant General Eric M. Smith. Ladies and gentlemen, please be seated. The change of command ceremony you are witnessing is an honor tradition of our Corps designed to strengthen authority and respect, which is vital to any military organization. Custom has established that this ceremony be formal and impressive. The heart of the ceremony is the passing of the organizational colors by the commander being relieved to the incoming commander. Delivering the colors to Lieutenant General Smith is Sergeant Major Marquez, 3 Marine Expeditionary Force and Marine Forces Japan, Sergeant Major. 第3 the passing of the colors signifies the transfer of total responsibility, authority, and accountability for the three Marine Expeditionary Force and Marine Forces Japan. Ladies and gentlemen, please rise for the transfer of the colors. From Headquarters, United States Marine Corps, to Lieutenant General Eric M. Smith, effective 1900, 31 May 2019, you will stand detached from your duties as the Commanding General, 3 Marine Expeditionary Force, and Commander, Marine Forces Japan, signed Robert B. Neller, General, United States Marine Corps, Commandant of the Marine Corps. 海兵隊総司令部より、エリックスミス中将へ。本日2019年5月31日午後7時をもって、記念の第3海兵遠征軍司令官並びに在日海兵隊司令官の任を得く。署名、米海兵隊総司令官ロバートテラー大将。Effective 1900-31 May 2019, you are directed to assume your duties as the Commanding General, 3 Marine Expeditionary Force, and Commander, Marine Forces Japan, signed Robert B. Neller, General, United States Marine Corps, Commandant of the Marine Corps. Ladies and gentlemen, please be seated.
Ladies and gentlemen, please rise for honors to Lieutenant General Stacy Clarity, Commanding General, 3 Marine Expeditionary Force, and Commander, Marine Forces Japan. Ladies and gentlemen, please be seated. A message from the Commandant of the Marine Corps for Lieutenant General Smith. Eric, congratulations on a job well done. The accomplishments of three Marine Expeditionary Force during your tenure are a direct reflection of your outstanding leadership. Your direct and genuine investment in senior leaders throughout the Japan Ground Self-Defense Force and the Rock Marine Corps prepared us well to advance our forward posture in the ever-changing and uncertain security con context of the Indo-Pacific region. Through your no-nonsense, straightforward approach to readiness, you substantially advanced the posture and lethality of the 3 MEF team. I also know firsthand how committed you were to improving the quality of life for our Marines, sailors, and families stationed throughout 3MEF. Your efforts were critical in reducing and removing long-standing policies and regulations that detracted from the experience of a tour with our Japan-based elements. The Marine Corps is grateful to you and Trish for your leadership as well as everything you do for our Marines, sailors, and their families. We wish you both the very best as you move on to your new role at the helm of MCCDC. For Lieutenant General Clarity, Stacy, as you assume command of 3MEF, know that you have my total trust and confidence. I know you will set the bar high and bring the same outstanding leadership you demonstrated during your tenure with USD, PNR, and throughout your career. Congratulations and best wishes to you and Allison as you take responsibility for 3MEF's daily operations. Semper Fidelis, Robert B. Neller, U.S. Marine Corps, Commandant of the Marine Corps. 3MF would like to thank Mrs. Smith and welcome Mrs. Clarity. In lieu of flowers, donations are being made to the Semper Fi Fund and Wounded Warrior Project on behalf of Mrs. Smith and Mrs. Clarity. Ladies and gentlemen, Lieutenant General Louis A. Craparata, Marine Forces Pacific, Commanding General. Well, good evening. This is quite a, uh, quite a venue. So for the leadership here, the community leadership, for the general and flag officers and their spouses, the senior enlisted leadership and their spouses, for the Marines and sailors, family and friends, thank you all very much uh, for being here. Really makes the ceremony special. And for those of you who I know traveled from Tokyo and from uh, Korea and from other places uh, to be here, special thanks to you. Uh, you're, you honor us, really, with your uh, presence. Just a couple comments uh, from me tonight, really three things. One is to a uh, couple comments on the MEF and what the MEF means to our Marine Corps, to our nation, to our alliance with Japan and to the region in general. Second, uh, to thank uh, General Smith and Trish for what they've done here at the MEF. And third, of course, to welcome uh, General Clarity. And starting with uh, three MEF, the presence of three MEF here in the region, representative of our commitment to peace and security in the region, enables us to fulfill, if necessary, our treaty responsibilities, and demonstrates 
our ironclad commitment to our alliance with Japan. And the Marines and sailors who serve alongside us here in the uh, Pacific are ready to respond to crisis or contingency at a moment's notice. They train and exercise every day with allies and partners to build interoperability. And they build relationships and friendships across the region. And there's no meth that is really more important to our core. And because of that, we tend to uh, put our best leaders in command over here. And both the outgoing and the incoming are uh, no exception. So I'll start with uh, General Smith, really with uh, Trish, and say thanks. Uh, you've been a great uh, partner in command. You've taken care of the Marines and sailors and families, and you do it with style and grace. And Lori and I, from the bottom of our heart, thank you. And the Marine Corps thanks you, quite frankly. So, for uh, Eric, you know, the chaplain actually mentioned that his time was uh, short. I'm sure there's some uh, mixed emotions for, uh, for Eric. There's a long list of things that I know he wanted to do and wants to do uh, here, and he'll be able to pass uh, that list on. But when the Corps has something they need a key leader to do, they, uh, they send them in that direction. And that's why they're moving Lieutenant General Smith. This is the third opportunity in uh, 10 years, I think, that I've had an opportunity to command sort of alongside uh, General Smith. And uh, I can thank him today for his uh, friendship, for his leadership, for his commitment, and for his passion. And he has, as the Commandant said, he'd, he's improved the readiness and lethality of the MEF. He's built friends across the uh, region. He's been very conscious of the morale and the welfare of the Marines and sailors and the families that serve in the region. He's made changes to uh, make sure that this tour is as rewarding as it should be. So Eric, uh, again, I know it's somewhat uh, bittersweet, but I'm very uh, grateful for having had this uh, opportunity to serve alongside you. I thank you for everything uh, that you've done for the, uh, for the MEF and from MAR4PAC uh, writ large, from me and Lori uh, personally, thank you for everything that you have done. And Stacy, so I've known Stacy since about uh, 1988. We were battalion commanders in the Blue Diamond about the uh, same time. We went to the War College uh, together, and there's no, no better leader to come in here and pick up the baton and continue to check off General Smith's to-do list and to uh, continue to move the ball forward. So, Stacy, I know uh, if you don't know it, so since we're this side of the international date line, Stacy's actually had orders for a week. If you're on the other side of the date line, he's only had orders for six days, which is why Allison's not here, because somebody has to take care of the house and the dog and the cars and everything that's still in the national capital region. But Stacy and Allison are going to be a great uh, command team. They're back here at MEF, his last uh, command here in the third uh, division and uh, Stacy welcome and uh, best of luck got nothing but uh, nothing but confidence that you'll continue to move this command forward so thank you all again very much uh, an honor for me to be here tonight ladies and gentlemen lieutenant general Smith Good evening, Combat One. 
If you allow me to, uh, to skip a normal protocol for just one minute, I will speak uh, first uh, to and about the Marines and sailors behind you. And in short, I've asked that it is the company grade officers and the junior staff NCOs who perform this parade. Not so the senior folks can have a night off, but so those who do the fighting and the dying around here can get the recognition. And that is those young Marines and sailors that are behind me, the vast majority of whom are less than 25 years old. So from the band who will drop their weapons or drop their uh, instruments and pick up weapons in combat, to the Marines and sailors in these formations who will fight and if necessary give their lives in the defense of this alliance with Japan and of the region and of our allies throughout this region, I'd ask that you give the band and all these Marines a round of applause because again, this is who does the fighting and the dying around here. Briefly, I would simply say, because this is always covered by the media and, and everyone throughout the region will see this, if you test the alliance, this is what you face, which you don't want to do. Because this, combined with our partners throughout, our Japanese partners and our regional partners, you, you don't want to fight the force that stands behind me, because they don't stop. They won't stop. Neither will any of our partners. So that should be probably noted by anyone who's maybe watching this later on a YouTube video. There's a million people here to thank tonight, and I'll be extremely brief because the weather's going to roll in, and the Marines uh, deserve to have their, uh, their uh, downtime after performing. But there are several people who I would call out, and I will attempt to be brief. I would thank on the U.S. side, Ten General Craparata, who I've served with in combat. Lou, thank you for being here. Very much appreciate the, the long trip. To Lieutenant General Snyder, Gumby, thank you for your leadership at USFJ. It's been terrific getting to go back and forth with you on the phone. Mosan, thank you. We also appreciate very much that you're here. To all the MSC commanders and their spouses who are here, you've made this place tremendous. To our allies, I'm very honored that we have so many people here tonight. Vice Governor Johanna, it's a great privilege to have you here, sir. Ambassador Calamira, Mr. Ambassador, always a pleasure to see you. I am honored that you are here as well. Tanaka-san, always good to see you. On the military side, it is a great honor to have General Onizuka, General Sumida, General Kaminotani Kami, um, who likes to remind me, well, I'll skip that joke, but uh, General Kamen Otani is here. We have several other distinguished visitors who are here. General Kim from the Rock Marine Corps on behalf of our Commandant General Lee and all of the other flag officers who are here present today. Thank you. A very special thank you from all of us to our tremendous Consul General Robert Kepke and his lovely wife Noriko. Nori, thank you for being here. Uh, Consul General Kepke does more than you can imagine on behalf of this alliance to the front office staff. This doesn't get put on uh, without hard work. So from the Deputy Commanding General, General McPhillips, to the Chief of Staff, Kurt Williamson, Sergeant Major Marquez, Command Master Chief Moore, and Carol, who actually runs the MEF. Thank you very much for what you have done and for the friendships. I will simply say to all of you who are assembled here tonight, thank you, because this is never about me, it's not about General Clarity, it is about this MEF and what this MEF represents. It represents the U.S. commitment to this region, to the U.S.-Japan alliance. And again, as I told uh, Governor, Vice Governor Johanna, we, we all here will disagree about something, but we're civil to each other. This is, as I've said before, this is our home. Trish and I live here. Okinawa is and has been my home for the past year. This is where I live, and so I'm a proud resident of Okinawa, and I have been since I arrived, and I will be when I leave. I depart Sunday or Sunday morning with Trish. Our son arrives for duty here Saturday night. 
So we will, there'll still be a Smith running around. Um, and he, I hope, will understand and come to appreciate the spirit of Chimugukuru, which I was taught by Vice Governor Johanna, Vice Governor Tamikawa, and Governor Tamaki, and has been demonstrated to me in one form or another across Japan, across the region, from my civil and my military partners. Finally, to uh, my wife, Trish, I love you. Thanks for uh, enduring Move 7. Uh, I usually leave out in seven years part because that gets me in trouble and costs me jewelry from a guy named Johnny's. So thank you, baby, for being here. And for the Marines and sailors in formation, it's always the old folks that get to stand up here and thank their families. So when I thank my wife and my family, I'm doing it on behalf of all of the young Lance Corporals, uh, Petty Officer Third Classes who don't get to do this. Their families are to be appreciated and work just as hard as our senior families. So I would ask you just briefly a round of applause for all of the families who are here and who are represented in this formation. The very last thought, but not the least important, is to my friend, Lieutenant General Clarity. For those of you that are in the U.S.-Japan Alliance, you have no idea how fortunate you are that a veteran of Okinawa, a veteran of Japan, has come back. He's been here as a general officer. He's a war fighter. He is, if you think I've got passion, wait till you meet Stacy Clarity because y you have no idea how good a deal you're getting in general clarity. His wife, Allison, who I hope is seeing this on Facebook, I'm sorry, on uh, whatever that thing is, InstaFace or something, um, whatever it is that he's doing, uh, what is that thing, Trish? Face chat, something, FaceTime, there you go. So whatever's going on on FaceTime, he is seeing that. Uh, or he, uh, Allison is seeing that. Allison, thank you for enduring yet another move solo. Stacy, it's an honor to get to turn over to you. The Alliance is in very good hands. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for your attendance here to honor this meth. And again, it is about those 25-year-olds that are standing in this formation who are willing to defend our Constitution, which tells them that we have a treaty here and they're willing to defend it with their lives. Please don't remember that, whether you're here or whether you're watching this from some other nation. They will defend it with their lives, and you don't want any part of that because that is a formidable fighting force. If I have left anyone out, I very much apologize, but I'll get to see you at the reception. And before the weather closes, let me turn this over to the commanding general of 3 Marine Expeditionary Force and your new best friend, Lieutenant General Stacy Clarity. Ladies and gentlemen, Lieutenant General Clarity. I'm not sure what's getting about ready to happen here, but I'm, uh, I'll be brief. Um, uh, for all the dignitaries here from the government of Japan, the Okinawa Prefectural Government, from the Japanese Self-Defense Force, from the Korean uh, Marine Corps, uh, all the sailors and soldiers, airmen, and uh, certainly the Marines, thank you for being here. You're honored with your presence. Um, there's many friends here. I recognize that. This was done on short notice. I appreciate everybody who traveled from far away to be here. Thank you much for being here. My wife, Allison, I hope she's getting this on FaceTime. I love you. Um, she's going to critique me later on my comments, so uh, don't worry about that. I know Star Major is going to do it as well. But <laughs> um, Okinawa is a unique and special place. Uh, it's unique strategically. It's important to both the government of Japan, but certainly to the United States. And that's what you see here is this commitment. Um, it's unique for me. It's my fourth tour here. I've got very fond memories uh, watching my children grow up here. It consi I consider it my second home. And I have a very deep respect for the Okinawan people for this beautiful island. And that will continue. And I will ensure, as many commanders before me have done, that these Marines and sailors will respect the Okinawan people as well. This is a great force. I am humbled to be back here again. Um, they are forward deployed, they're expeditionary, they're Marine Air Ground Task Force. They're ready for any crisis, they'll lend a helping hand. They've shown that in the past and they'll do it tomorrow. They're also ready to go to war, to fight, and to win. And I will continue the legacy of General Smith to make sure that that continues. Um, for General Smith and Trish, I am honored to follow you, my friend. And he does have a long list of things for me to do. And I will honor that as well. Um, you're a great commander, a great officer. 
and both you and Trish are a formidable Marine team. And uh, I want to wish you the best of luck, Alice and I both do, as you go to your next command and help the Corps uh, find their way into the future. It's my pleasure to be here. I am very excited about this opportunity. I was told to keep it short, and I will do that. And I do want to say, though, that Domo Eragato uh, Gazimus and Semper Fidelis. Ladies and gentlemen, the Commander of Troops, Major Sarah Hutchinson and the 3MF staff. Three Marine Expeditionary Force Bands under the direction of the Band Officer, Chief Warrant Officer 3, Andres Navarro, and the Drum Major, Staff Sergeant Katie Miller. Commanding Officer, 3rd Marine Division, is Captain Andrew Blacker. The Commanding Officer, 1st Marine Aircraft Wing, is Captain Stephen Miller. Ladies and gentlemen, as the colors pass directly in front of you, please rise. Once the colors have passed, please be seated. The commanding officer, 3rd Marine Logistics Group, is Captain Jeffrey Ramey. Commanding Officer, 3rd Marine Expeditionary Brigade is Captain Jason Beninate. The commanding officer, 3MF Information Group, is Captain Shelley Ansbigian. Ladies and gentlemen, 
please rise for the playing of Anchors Away and the Marines Hymn. Ladies and gentlemen, this concludes today's ceremony. On behalf of the Commanding General, Officers, Marines, and Sailors of 3 Marine Expeditionary Force and Marine Forces Japan, we thank you for your attendance. At this time, Lieutenant General Smith and Lieutenant General Clarity would like to extend an invitation to join them at the Tangan Castle for a reception. A receiving line will be conducted there to meet the new Commanding General. This is the 